Panama Canal is one of the great achievements of modern engineering. Since its opening in 1914, it has been regarded as a monument to those who built it. The dream of building a canal across the isthmus was born in the days of the Spanish conquistadores, who were the first to cut a path through the Panama jungle. The first real attempt to dig a canal across the isthmus of Panama was made by the French. Under Count Ferdinand de Lesseps, builder of the Suez Canal, they labored for 20 years until disease and financial woes finally brought failure to their project. 22,000 people lost their lives, mainly from Martinique and the other French colonies here in, in the Western Hemisphere. And when the Americans, you know, when the United States did it, they used a great deal that they learned from the failure of the French. A labor force of thousands was needed to dig this nearly nine-mile stretch that slices through the continental divide. The engineering skills conquered the forces of nature and to Dr. William C. Gorgas, who brought malaria under control and rid the area of the dreaded and deadly yellow fever. If you see this plaza, you would think that the French had built the whole thing. Uh, you wouldn't think that they had come here and failed. This whole square and all these monuments are to the French. And there, it doesn't say they didn't build it, but to the, their attempt to build the, the Panama Canal. Before beginning its southbound transit, a ship is boarded by a Panama Canal pilot who assumes navigational command of the vessel. The ship then heads into Gatun Locks to be raised in three steps to the level of Gatun Lake, about 85 feet above sea level. Two lanes at each lock allow ship traffic in both directions. The average ocean-going toll today is slightly more than $30,000. The actual transit of the canal takes from 8 to 10 hours. Normally, average time in canal waters, including waiting time, is above 24 hours. The Americans were at the U.S. actually had their concession. They were going to build it in Nicaragua. And if you look at the map, you'll see that Nicaragua, while it's wider, there's some vast lakes, and it might have been easier in many ways, uh, certainly as far as the jungle is concerned. For a variety of reasons, there was great political intrigue at the time, and in the end, they built it here in Panama. There are all sorts of stories. One of the things that they did in Congress was somebody showed a big picture of the Nicaraguan site, uh, planned route, with a huge volcano in the background, the implication being that, well, Nicaragua is not a very stable place, but Panama is. The Panama Canal was operated by the United States from its opening on August 15, 1914, until December 31, 1999. Now, the Republic of Panama administers the canal through the Panama Canal Authority. More than 13,000 vessels a year, representing many flags, transit the Panama Canal, carrying cargo and passengers between the great ports of the world. Atop a hill in Balboa Heights, is the Canal Organization's Administration Building, which houses the offices of the Administrator and other Canal officials. Just beyond lies the City of Panama, capital Republic of Panama. This uh, Plaza Mayor is a perfect example of history moving on. It was the main plaza. You can see the bust of all the founders of the Republic. I'm sure they'd all turn over in their graves now. This is the main cathedral. You can see it's got trees growing out of it. It's not very well maintained. Because if this is the most important square in the country, you see how it's dilapidated and run down. I mean, perhaps they'll maintain the canal and keep it up. Yeah, but other parts have become... We passed, uh, we passed some housing which was built after the U.S. invaded here to get Noriega in 89. Obliterated a whole neighborhood, killed a lot of people, innocent people. And then they, one of the things they did is they came along and built a lot of housing. It's already an instant slum. Ten years later, it looks like it's 50 years old, run down and decrepit. I, I, I wonder how the canal will hold up.